что вы говорите, Павел, что ты отсылаешь на Библиотеку. So much that that sponge gets so full and starts dripping and it's flowing and it's Lord, we thank you. Lord, that however thirsty we are and however dry we are, you are the living water. You are the one that satisfies. Lord, you are the life. Lord, the life-giving water that flows on us. Lord, you said that you will put within us rivers of living water flowing out, Lord, where we've allowed that to go dry by, Lord, just stuff getting in the way of that flow. We just remove it this morning. We just intentionally remove anything that's stopping that flow of living water from bubbling up, whether it's discouragement, whether it's, Lord, depression, whether it's anxiety, whether it's whatever it might be, Lord, we just deliberately remove it today. We just give all those things to you. We cast our cares on you because you care for us. Lord, you care for our loved ones. You care for those who are sick. You care for those sure who are struggling. And Lord, we just thank you that you are the one who satisfies every single person. We bless you in the I just wanted to share because it really goes with what you just shared, Sharon. Mm -hmm. Would you like to find just also have a picture just that we, mm -hmm. um, not we, a person stood on a train platform and found so much luggage, unbelievable mountains of luggage, mm -hmm. huge, beautiful leather suitcases stuffed full of all kinds of everything. Mm -hmm. And on this platform, it's like there's a journey that has to be made. There's a destination that needs to be reached. That's why you're getting this train to take you to the destination that is for you. But you don't need all this. You don't need all these bags of things. They're going to slow you down. And he sent the porter along with his great big trolley. You don't even have to lift them up yourself. You don't even have to lift them onto the trolley. You All you have to do is get onto that train. They're taking care of the rest. Father, Jesus, Holy Spirit, they've got it all. They're carrying it all. They're carrying all that luggage. It's not that it's not important. It's not that it needs chucking out or anything like that. It's just... You don't need to lug it about. Mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you for that destiny mm -hmm. that you've given to each one of us. Mm -hmm. It's not just a special person. Mm -hmm. I think that's for each one of us here. Mm -hmm. There's a journey that we're on. We have a destination. We have a destiny in you. Mm -hmm. And all that stuff that we think we need mm -hmm. to be able to make that journey Lord, we just give it into your hands. We say, Porter, do your best with it. Stick it on that trolley. Put it wherever it needs to go. <laughs> and doesn't it feel good to not have to carry that weight and to not have to worry about it? And have I got it all? And is there anything missing? And they don't leave anything behind. We can just get on. We can just get on that train. <laughs> Thank you for your leading heart. I was reading about the um, this morning the woman from the well, and it really goes with what you just said because one of the things that came to me was that Jesus was there. He was there waiting for her. He knew she was coming, and she was coming with all this stuff, all this. Stuff that she, she she couldn't even share with anyone else. She crept, you know, in the hot sun because she didn't want anyone to see her. But Jesus was there waiting for her. And he just, she just, you know, was able to just give it to him and just get rid of it all. And it was just amazing, you know, that he he just waits for us, doesn't he? He's just there waiting. No matter where we are, whether we're walking, whether we're washing the dishes. Yeah. We don't have to yeah. be 
religious and we just say that we just say i'm i'm really having a bad day lord and you say that well i'm here i'm here just get rid of it to me just give it to me just give it to me amazing Strivings cease. Mm -hmm. Oh, so so much of our life is striving mm -hmm. to do this, to do that. Human doings, not mm -hmm. human beings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, we have Christ that lives in us. Mm -hmm. The power that is stronger than anything else. Mm -hmm. And all we need to do. Yes, that's right. We're called to be at rest, not striving in our own efforts. That's right. Because he's done it all. That's right. And we can get rest. It is love that brought Jesus to the cross to die in our place. And love is the answer to everything. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Paul says about, I pray for you that you mm -hmm. might know the love of God, mm -hmm. the height, the depth, the breadth, and the mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how many dimensions he, he talks about. <clears throat> But the but the fact that love we would know it and it would be part of our lives. Mm. It's who mm. we need to be. Mm. Love, love, love. Mm. And <coughs> Matthew 22, we'll start reading at verse 36. Teacher. What is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. So, basically, Jesus is saying, all the commandments of the Old Testament are fulfilled in doing this. The first and the greatest commandment is, is to love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And the second is like it. Is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. And it was this phrase here, love your neighbor as yourself. Now, I, I know John's going through this trauma uh, teaching. But I just pose the question, do you love yourself? Mm. Let me go back a step. Do you know Father's love? The immensity of it so that you can love yourself. Mm. If you can't love yourself, 
we can't love your neighbor. Mm. But we can't strive. It's no good striving. Mm. It is just saying, Father, I know you love me. Your word says your, your love for us is unquenchable. It's, it's, it's just so amazing. I receive it. I receive it. Father, just pour it out for me. Take away all the stuff that would block that love being received in my life. Change me. Change me. Change me so I can receive your fullness. The world out there is crying out for the sons of God to be manifest. In other words, they're longing to see God's love in action. Do we love ourselves? Or are we so harsh on ourselves? Oh, you should be like so and so. I hate this about me. Um, there's no fear in love. Mm -hmm. Love can't say the word fear. Mm -hmm. All fear. Everything. Mm -hmm. So that we can live in peace. Mm -hmm. Live in the resurrected life. Mm -hmm. Empowered by the thorns mm -hmm. of Christ within us. Mm -hmm. Can we love ourselves? Mm -hmm. And I believe this is part of the trauma. Mm -hmm. Can we love ourselves? Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the silly stuff and loving yourself and I'm laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Can we love ourselves with the love of God? Because mm. that's how we are to love others. Yeah. We can't do it. No. Yeah. And there's no point in striving. Yeah. And yeah. You know, we, I, I've got caught out so many times where I've gone out on a limb and I've done jobs for people. And I think, yeah, why did I do that? Hmm. Probably for my ego. Mm. But when you put it round and say, Father, I want to help this person yeah, yeah. and I want them yeah. to receive your love yeah. through this, yeah. Yeah. it brings a different angle mm. to it. Yeah. And mm. God can be glorified through it. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the ultimate of it no longer. Ah, but this, but yeah. Yeah. So that's really what I would lose. Um, yeah. I, I think, you know, that just really fits in, doesn't it, with what I was saying earlier, you know, yeah. that, you know, that picture I had of the sponge, but we, you know, all we have to do is just, yeah, yeah. and then it's that 
Catherine picture of, of the staff and Barb with uh, the woman at the well, you know. Yeah. It isn't something we can do, is it? It's not something we can do. But yet it's what he told us. And the ultimate of what we believe is to save him. But it is kind of in us and why we can live yeah. in us. And I think the more I know over the years I've I've felt the same, but it's almost inverted pride, isn't it? When we yeah. all the time thinking about what we can't do and why we, you know yeah. and, and actually that's what it is, pride all the way back. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all about us, whichever way you look at it, isn't it? Whereas yeah. it's not, it's all about what he can do in us. Yeah. And believing what he said about us. Because if he said we're fearfully and wonderfully made, if yeah. we said we're to be mm -hmm. even with him in heavenly places, then if we say we're not even deep inside yeah. we're saying we don't believe you especially mm -hmm. so, yeah. that's why you said only belief sounds simple but yeah. it sounds <laughs> simple but it doesn't it's letting in joy isn't it yeah. 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 like a sponge bit full of water without doing anything doesn't it that water yeah. comes along jesus has said i'm going to carry it you said it didn't you yeah. cast your cares on me because mm -hmm. I care for you. Mm -hmm. And how are people going to know we're Christian? Whichever way you look at it, it all comes around to that, doesn't it? Yeah. It all comes around to that. So. Yeah. And as you say, See what really fits in with the whole trauma thing, doesn't it? Because it does. what trauma has done with for us is take away that mm -hmm. feeling of self, you know, it's just unbalanced everything in our emotions and in our minds. So that we're not we're not balanced in the way that we see and that stuff if we're not careful gets in between. Yeah. Um as John uses that analogy of that membrane, doesn't mm -hmm. it? And it clogs up the membrane to the point where we that's what we're experiencing instead of the flow. Mm. <clears throat> it's it also about, you know, you're saying about luggage, I've been saying about luggage. I always remember just before we, um, just before I gave my life to the Lord, there was so, it, it was trauma from my childhood, mm -hmm. massive. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. I just put on a brave face. You know, smiled at everyone and and just did everything. You know, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it because I can. And mm -hmm. and that's how I carried on. But when I gave my life to the Lord, mm -hmm. it it was as if the luggage got heavier. Whilst I could I could do it, it, it seemed as if. But it, what was happening was just more and more <laughs> coming on board. But it was as if the Lord said to me you're not going to be able to carry all this and mm -hmm. it, there's going to be a point and I, you know, I didn't understand any of it then I don't even think I'd heard the name Jesus when I gave my life to the Lord but that at that point I found it so difficult to understand that through the love of Jesus for me he would just take it all. I couldn't, I couldn't get that in my head. And I'm just talking to people now. I mean, that's a long time ago, and I, you know, all sorts of things have happened. But just talking to people in general. Yesterday, when we were on the stall, and we had the um, the pop up of the Pakistan mm. families that have been brought out of slavery, and people were asking us, well, you know, there's hundreds of people in need. Why, why are you paying for this family? Well, not me, but why, why are you paying for this family to come out of slavery? You know, there's thousands of them. And I, it was Phil, I was listening to Phil really. It, it was him that was saying, he said, because Jesus loved me first, mm -hmm. so that I could love people that I don't even see or know. Or, and, and it was as if I, it was as if I was remembering. I could never understand that until I knew the Lord. Mm, sure. And I think when we meet people day to day, mm. it's it's telling them first about the love of Jesus for them, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then all the rest will yes. Jesus will sort out because of His yeah. love for us. And 
you know, knowing that we just don't have to do that all the stuff around with us. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was, it always comes back to me, just the love of Jesus, mm. Jesus has for me. I can share, I can do it on my own, I can share it on my own. So yeah, mm. it's always that, it comes back to me, Jesus mm. loves me, and that I know, mm. and, and then it can be passed on, can it? Mm. Mm. And when there are big things like that, it's easy for us to think, well, I've dealt with that. Mm -hmm. They sorted that out 20 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I went to this meeting and that happened and that. But I've had 20 years of more life since yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there's yeah. Yeah. lots of other things I've stuck in my pocket. Yeah. 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 Oh, I've got another backpack under this thing. <laughs> and I've got a belt bag thing around my waist and I've got a few hidden around, you know. It's just, yeah. And it yeah. creeps up on you, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 And I do think we're entering a new season now, you know, in the church across yeah. the world. And, uh, you know, and there has to be a, a real, I mean, there always, it, it's always needed to be genuine, but I think more than ever, you know, there needs to be a reality, a genuine in our faith yeah. and in our walk with the Lord. Um, because it's not a cultural thing anymore. I mean, we saw that in the census we knew before. I mean, I think even before this census, people were only putting Christians down because there was no one else to put in yeah. so they were Christians. But, you know, what we're, we need to be real, don't we? We need to be genuine and people yeah. are not going to be attracted. As you say, yeah. people just need to see that. Yeah, just, yeah. 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 On Tuesdays now, several of them, Mm -hmm. They just feel like we're family. And yeah, yeah. We've shown the love. I mean, yeah. we've seen Wendy come in now, yeah. and then the others go to Broughton and get food. Yeah. And, uh, it's just been lovely to share with Veronica yesterday. Yeah. I took her for a coffee. Mm -hmm. She's all on her own. She yeah. walked all the way down. Mm -hmm. And she said, You don't know how much this means to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to spend a little time, and, yeah. uh, you know, showing yeah. that love. I think this last year of being able to yeah. demonstrate that yeah, you know, think, yeah. on Tuesday morning, yeah. Yeah. you know, you too, and uh, it's been amazing the way that yeah. you've pulled that group together. Yeah. And and you just like, quietly going. Spending a lot, of, you know, pray for you. Yeah. And pray for, yeah. They like. They want. Yeah. To yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It's a lifeline for so many people yeah. because it's so well. And everybody who comes in, the people who work for the doctor survey, they say, oh, it's just so peaceful. Yeah, yeah. and it's yeah, noisy. I know. And nobody's talking. It's yeah, yeah. Noisy. But they feel so something. Just, they they are, like, yeah. Yeah. So we pray that we will see more country more. Yeah. And there's not many of us, but you know, there were only 12 disciples, don't they? Yeah, they turn the world upside down. So, yeah. I, I, you know, it just needs our availability, doesn't it? And I'm guessing all this that we're talking about, you know, because when we get it, that's what transforms yeah. people, wasn't it? Jesus saying to him afterwards, forgiving him for messing up so badly and, and um, you know, putting him back on track. Yeah. I mean, you know, that was a horrible thing that Peter did, wasn't it? And, but, you know, that's talk about trauma, but he got it, didn't he? That Jesus yeah. was forgiving him and releasing him yeah. and giving him a purpose. Yeah. And, uh, and that's what he wants to do with us. Yeah. Because the longer we stay just, Grovelling around in our own stuff. Yeah. How, you know, we're here for, we're, we've got a job to do all of a sudden, we're here for the, yeah. a purpose. We want, mm -hmm. We're here for a reason. Mm -hmm. And he always gives us a way, mm -hmm. doesn't he, to, yeah. uh, you know, forgiveness, I think, is mm -hmm. like, it's a massive mm -hmm. thing in my yeah. life. Yeah. And um, I, even though I pray to the Lord, I, you know, how can I forgive this person? How can yeah. I forgive this person? And I would say it, I would say it. I forgive me. And then five minutes later, it would all come back again. I thought, I haven't, I haven't. And I beat myself up over yeah. not being able to. Yeah. And in, and one day I just thought, Jesus must have the answer to this. He must be able to. He must have the answer. So I just said to him one day, just, I don't know how to do it. I can't get there. I cannot do it. You must know the answer to this. And amazingly, I I got sent a photograph of this person as a child, and he was you know, much older than me, my grandfather. I'd never seen him as a child. I got this photograph, and my dad sent it to me. But you know, no reason in a picture thing. And I thought, you're so clever, Jesus, because yeah. I could forgive yeah. the child, yeah. yeah, whereas I couldn't forgive the adult. Mm -hmm. And I, I just mm -hmm. thought, it's it was so. Yeah. 
simple. Mm. But I thought, yeah. all I had to say, I just can't do it. I can't do it. Yeah. You must have a way. You must know the answer. Yeah. And quite often, I, you know, even today now, sometimes yeah. I step you know, in the kitchen, I write down and say, I just don't know how to do this. How am I going to do it? Yeah. And Jesus yeah. just comes up with the answer. Yeah. That's so clever. So yeah. simple that I can do it. Yeah. He never gives me anything so, you know, unbelievable that I think I can't do this, like you're saying, I've got to strive to do that. It's just mm. so simple. Mm. Jesus just comes up with the answer. Mm. Uh, I, think I think it's simple when we let him do it. Yeah, when we let yeah. him do it. Yeah. When, we, when we think, you know, oh, I can't get through this. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And again, it's a stress. Yeah. 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 And it's pride yeah. to think yeah. we can do it. Yeah. 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 So if we just, you know, yeah. put that down, yeah. then we can let him do it. Yeah. 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 And just you know, what God was saying, I think thinking a few times this week um, about that song, he, he makes a way, um, he makes a way because it's, it's like, he does. Yeah, yeah. It's just so powerful when we can get that in our spirits, isn't it? But, yeah. You know, but like Sue said, if we're so insecure in ourselves, I can get in ourselves all the time. And if, you know, we're not any use to hold on to the outside yeah. because we're just tied up in ourselves. Yeah. And, you know, um, and it can seem like it's really neat to be like, oh, I don't like myself. But actually, no, because Jesus has said things about us that we need to believe. Yeah, and we need to believe them. Yeah, we yeah. yeah, do. Yeah. It's like the children do we do, and he knows that he knows our frailty. He knows, yeah. he knows that we're going to before we do. <laughs> but I mean, and, and again, you know, humility is such a big thing, isn't it? And he doesn't stop that. Just get back on, get back on track. Yeah, and uh, this is it. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing. Yeah. And again, loving ourselves includes forgiving ourselves, doesn't it? So, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, we try. Yeah. 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 We were very privileged to hear Colin Elkhart preach quite a few times, and um, he would say that in the mornings when he got up, he would just walk around, and I've done this since, you know, many times, just saying the things that God says. But he, it, he had a very unique way of doing it. So he would say, um, let me see if I can get it right, something like, My love is in God, God's love is in me. My life is in God, God's yeah, life is yeah, in me. My yeah. peace is in God, God's peace is in yeah, me. Right. And he just goes through yeah. all these things. Yeah. And yeah. it's just really simple, but you do that for five minutes. Yeah. And it really just yeah. begins, you just begin to get it, you know. Yeah. But yeah, everything about God is in me and I am in Him. And just to just keep on this. Yeah, and I think when you you um, go over it, you know, and you speak um, things out sometimes. Yes. It, yeah. You know, sometimes I, I'm thinking it, yeah. but unless I'm being it out. Because by the power of life and death is in our tongue. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. there's some big life here. Yeah. If we grumble and complain all the time, we're thinking death. Yeah. Yeah. We're thinking death. Yeah. And you know, there's a reason the Bible gives us these instructions, therefore, I did. So, doing all things without grumbling and complaining, and in everything giving thanks. Uh, yeah. 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 You know, I teach all this kind of emotional stuff. Yeah, and yeah. you know, the more they're discovering in neuroscience about our brain, yeah. the more they're saying, you know, the more that we are thankful, positive, saying yeah. things. We actually can make a difference yeah. to the chemicals our brains are yeah. making, to yeah. the emotions that we feel. Yeah. God's known this all along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This all along. Yeah. You know, He's told us yeah. the principles of life. Give thanks in everything. Yeah. Don't grumble and complain. And if we really can do that, yeah. we'll and speak what He says about us. You know, it reminds me. I mean. Steve remembers, and, and, and probably Stephanie and Sandra do too, you know, this was really big back in the 70s. You yeah. know, Stephen wasn't it declaring the other words, yeah. yeah. declaring. Yeah. But you know why? Because yes. if we declare what God says, 
you know, yeah. and maybe a big difference to our lives. And, you know, maybe much of what the church was doing back there needed to change, but, you know, we don't need to throw the lady out with the bathwater. Mm -hmm. I think that it's, uh, you know. I think the gift thanks really been speaking to me mm -hmm. about giving thanks. Yeah. You know, in every situation. Because yeah. it creates that environment where God so, can work. Yeah. It, it just means that it gives that place, doesn't it, where yeah. he can work. Yeah. Yeah. I know John used to say to people sometimes if he was uh, speaking at meetings, I don't suppose it's particularly good news, but you know, who wants to know the will of God for their life? You know, and of course everybody yeah, knows. Everybody. And what does it say it's looking for? Yeah. The things that are hard to forgive, things that are hard to move mm -hmm. on from. Like yeah, mm -hmm. it, there's always been that willingness to forgive and to see um God in things and yeah. Uh, it's an easy aren't I? Don't know. Okay, but as Steve was saying, it all starts from us believing in the first place. Mm -hmm. Don't we can love ourselves and love ourselves? And maybe it's different from other people. So if we compare ourselves to other people, we're not wise. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. We're not, we've all got something to do. Yeah, that's so, mm, different gifts. That's the whole point of the body, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. If we were so, all the same. Yeah. We're all the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. So being well -like. I can't sing, I can't sing, or I can't prophesy like somebody else in yeah. the church. It's <laughs> not helpful, is it? It's, just, yeah. it's discovering what God has put yeah. us here for. Yeah. What he's put us here for. Yeah. And, you know, Stephanie and Sandra are seeing you this year blossoming because God's given you that ministry, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. He's given you that ministry. He's given you a service that you can Just to love those people. Yeah. I mean, most of them have yeah. either lost someone or. They're struggling or they're elderly on their own, and they just need to know yeah. that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a ministry, and, yeah. and you know, we've all got things that God's got before us to do. Yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah. But I think all this just shows that it is possible, and and you know, sometimes it's our minds that get in the way, and we mm -hmm. overthink, yeah. overthink things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's like, the whole song, know. isn't it? Trust and obey. This is no other way. Yeah. Not really easy, though, is it? Yeah. But we can, I think. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you, Steve, for sharing that and for everyone for contributing as well. Yeah. yeah. That's what the body's all about, isn't it? That we all have something to bring to share. Yes, it's, it's so simple. Yeah. It is. Right. That bag, I'm not carrying it around with me anymore. Yeah. And it's not a boomerang, so I'm not going to take yeah. that back. Which yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 always used to throw. He yeah. could see it. Yeah. He could see the sea and he'd get whatever he was trying with it. He'd throw it. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And he avoided it. Yeah. I did that one time when I was speaking years ago, but I know it really impacted George Effort this time. I brought some weights. It, it uh, and it was, <laughs> I brought some weights and just rolled them, you know, to show that you physically roll it away. So I know that, you know, we need to, to get hold of that, don't we? Yeah. So simple is good. Is it just simple? I think it was simple. It is simple. It's the Pharisees, the scribes, and those who try and understand it all and explain it all yeah. and get their heads around it all of it. Yeah. It's to accept it in your heart. In your heart, not in your heart. Not your head. Work out in your heart. It's your heart. And it brings so Life. much freedom. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think when you've lost someone and you've lived with for years, you know, it's just trusting the Lord to be with you yeah. because you have to do a lot of things yourself yeah. and you think, how can I do that? But he's there, isn't he? Mm -hmm. You know, I know. Yeah. I don't find it easy all the time. And you know what, Sandra, others are there too. And I think I one that, thing that, that can be hard for all of us is to have to you know, I think mm -hmm. if I'm not with a believer, mm -hmm. And I can't have the body of God. I don't mm -hmm. know how I've got to do it. But is that okay to ask for help? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. But I am a person that tries. I know, I know. And my <laughs> family don't think I need. But it's they all right. Think that I can just put yeah, but it's okay as well. It's okay to tell. It has happened so much. Yeah.
and she shows us and we can give those signs to him. Mm -hmm. I, I shared with John a couple of weeks ago um, that when I was on course, we were um, anointed with oil. And um, next morning, I'm quite an uncooked pie, but she went into my um, kitchen to put my coffee machine on. And I just suddenly felt the oil drip down my forehead. <laughs> and I thought, well, I immediately went in the bathroom to look, and there was absolutely nothing there. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that's so easy to yeah. yeah. I think of it every day. Yeah. 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 Every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I cleanse my face before I went to bed, so it wasn't like it was in my hair or anything. I had to get enough of the hair. <laughs> it was those times, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That when Jesus appears like that, when yeah. something is, you know, physical. you know yourself, you know, physical, yeah. that you think it, that ha it can't be anything else. Mm -hmm. When, when, before my mum died, and she died very young, she was she was mentally ill all her life, ever since I you know, can remember, well, before I was born. And when I became a Christian, I tried to talk to her, but she just, you know, I could have been reading a fairy story to her, she just didn't understand. And I used to really struggle over that, saying, Lord, how... How is she ever going to go to heaven? How is she ever going to know? Because she can't accept you. How? Mm. How am I going to get through it? I struggled and struggled with that. And then one year, she came. She often used to come to us at Christmas, and we took her to the single service because it was the little children with the angel wings mm. and the shepherds, and I think our two sons were there. And I thought, well, it will, all I thought was it would be nice for her. She'll be able to watch this, and maybe you know, and. That's all I thought. But amazingly, when we got home, <laughs> I'm like, what, Lord, how did you do that? I said to her, meaning the little children with their wings on, I said, oh, you know, did you enjoy that, Mum? And she said, yes, yes. And I said, um, she, and I said, you know, did you see the little angels in the shepherd? She said, oh, I said, yes, I saw the angels. And I said, well, they're pretty, you know, going on about the tinsel around their heads and on their wings and everything. And she said, I I I I didn't see I didn't see any tinsel. So. so I said, Well, what did you see? She said, Well, they were all standing around the church. I mean, she wasn't with vocalism, mm -hmm. all standing around the church. I said, Well, what did they look like? She said, Well, they had armor on. Wow. They had armor. Oh, and I said, Well, how big were they? She said they well, it was an Anglican church, so you know, tall mm -hmm. She said, They went up to the ceiling mm -hmm. and they were carrying swords. And I was saying, Well, Still going on about the children and their weakness <laughs> and the shepherds with their teeth out on their heads. And, that, and she, she was looking at me as if I was crazy, you know, like, and I said, well, what else were there? And I was going to panic it. She said, well, they were covered with uh, bright stones on, on their armour and they were holding swords. And I thought, mm. and then within a week, she died. Mm. And I, mm. before she did, um, our brother-in-law said, when you get lonely at, at night, Mum, you know, you want to let people in because you don't, don't want to let anybody in. Um, he said, just speak to Jesus, ask Jesus to come. And before she died, um, she said to us, she had that vision as well, you know, the angels. And she said, uh, she was talking to Bill and she said, well, I, you know, I talked to this, uh, I, I've been talking to the man that sits on my bed. And we went, oh, my goodness, who'd she let in? You know, who'd she <laughs> let in before this time? <laughs> and Bill said, would you know him? She said, well, yes, I do. It was if, like, we were the crazy ones. Yeah. And uh, Bill said, well, what's his name? She said, his name is Jesus. Is his name Jesus? And she died within days oh, after that. Yeah. And it was for me, yeah. don't... Think that I can't, but yeah. Jesus, don't think I can't do anything. Yeah. Don't right. think there's anything that I cannot do. Mm -hmm. You just have to ask me, mm -hmm. and you may not see it as you want to see it. No, it will, will be done. It. Mm -hmm. it's not and after that, I'm like, mm -hmm. well, I know where my mum is. You know, yeah. in her own way, yeah, she 
she said to Jesus. Yeah. He came to sit on her bed like he, he was there for the woman at the well. He he knew she was coming. He he was waiting for her. Mm -hmm. He never leaves anybody out. No. That's what always, you know, sticks with me. Never ever leaves anybody out. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter who you are, whether you're you think you're in the gutter or you think you're on the throne, mm -hmm. he never leaves anybody out. So even if you have no intelligence. He will find a way of coming to you. Mm -hmm. Right? That always, you know, when people say, oh, you know, oh, well, <laughs> take it from me. Yeah. You don't have to be the cleverest yeah. person in the world or be able to read. Jesus will turn up. Yeah. You know, if, if oh, someone, sorry. even if it's not you praying, it's if you just pray for someone else, Jesus will turn up yeah. so that they can understand. They don't have to be clever and know their Bible off by heart and religious and mm. but he will just turn up mm. and that isn't it that I just think it's amazing it's wonderful yeah he can make a donkey speak that's right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah. well, we qualify there's yeah. hope for me <laughs> <laughs> that's right yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, let's spend a bit of time praying. Um, let's pray for the ministries. Um...